Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? So as a mess, this is them for Christ Gospel Messages and Bible Reading Section. May you be blessed as you listen to the Word of God as we read today. God bless you. Welcome to our Bible Reading Section. Today we're reading the book of Colossians chapter 2 from verse 1 to the end. Happy listening. For I want you to know what a great conflict I have for you and those in Laodicea. And for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knights together in love, and attaining all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now, this I say, lest anyone should deceive you with persuasive words. For though I am absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the sp in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As you, therefore, have received Christ the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in, in it with thanksgiving. Beware lest anyone cheat you. Beware, verse 8, Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, who is the head of all principality and power. In him you were also circumcised with the circumcision made without ends, but by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh, by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your trespass, trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having wiped out the end written of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us. And he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having dehammed principalities and powers. He made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Verse 16. So let no one judge you in food or in drink or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths, which are a shadow of the things to come. For the substance is of Christ. Let no one cheat you of your reward, taking the light and false humility and worship of angels, intruding into those things which has not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not according and not holding fast to the head, from whom all the body, nourished and night together by joints and ligaments grows with the increasing that is from God. Verse 20 Therefore, if you died with Christ from the basic principles of the world, why, as though living in the world, do you subject yourselves to regulations? Do not touch, do not taste, do not handle, which all consign things which perish with the using according to the commandments and doctrines of men? These things indeed have an appearance of wisdom in self-imposed religion, false humility, and neglect the body, but are of no value against the indulgence of the flesh. Thank you for listening and for Christ's Bible reading section. Colossians chapter 2. God bless you and see you on the next Bible reading. God bless.